Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the five reasons why I bought the Nissan Frontier over any other midsize truck for 2022. Stay tuned, we'll get into it. Okay, so most of y'all would have seen the video I did a few weeks back of the top five things I hate about my Nissan Frontier. Now, I got a lot of comments on that video. People think that I just hate this truck altogether and they don't know why I bought it this, that, and the other. Well, the truth is I like this truck, right? The Nissan Frontier, I think, has a lot of things going for it, which is the reason why I bought it. The five things I hate about it video was more about the things that I dislike, that I wish I had chosen differently. Not that things I wish Nissan would have done differently. More of them are things that I wish I had chosen differently when I bought this truck. So, let me get into the things that I do like about the truck and the main reasons why I bought the truck. Reason number one is going to be reliability. Nissans are known for being extremely reliable on almost all aspects of drivetrain. Um, obviously this motor is new for 2022, but if it's half as good as the other motors, we'll be just fine for longer than I have the vehicle. Uh, as you can see, it is quite dirty. It has been through some shit. Um, and I've had zero problems with it. Even when other Nissans have been rec on the recall list, uh, I've experienced zero problems drivetrain wise on the vehicle. Number two is going to be the mods. So Nissan Frontiers always seem to have quite a bit of mods available to them for any kind of personalization. Uh, I started off with, as you can see, some Firestone Destination MT2 tires. And they also have a two and a half inch rough country lift up front. Um, and they were available months after I bought the vehicle. So I do like to have all the modifications that I want to the vehicle. You don't have to wait for them too long. I also have a bunch of stuff back here for camping, but as you can see, there is the decked drawer system in the back that allows me to have all of the drawer space I need for going camping overlanding whatever so yeah i do like the modifications you're able to do to the vehicle number three is going to be the looks i just like the way this model looks i think they're super good looking they're not overly done kind of like you know the front the tacomas are nice looking trucks not gonna lie but i feel like everybody and their mom has a tacoma and i just like the way the nissan frontier looks more so that's another reason why I bought it. Number four is going to be, I like that it has four wheel drive at the price point it offers. So I have the S model. This is the base model for this particular truck. And it comes with a four wheel drive with low range, a proper four wheel drive. And I like that. So the reason why I bought the truck was because I wanted a smaller vehicle. I could go camping in. I could take off road beat up, scratch up, and not to worry too much about ruining a nice vehicle. And the reason why I didn't get a cheap vehicle, like a 20 year old Tacoma or kind of a beater up vehicle, is because I like all the modern conveniences you get with a newer vehicle. I like the Apple CarPlay. I like the lightning jack or whatever this is, USB-C port. I like, I like everything that comes with a modern truck. Um, and this is what I landed on because I feel like it's the best fit for all of those things combined. And lastly, the number one thing I like the most about the Nissan Frontier is the price. As this truck sits, I think I got it for 32 or 34,000, which for a crew cab 4x4 brand new, I only had 9 miles when I bought it. Brand new truck off the lot, I think it's a pretty good deal. Um obviously I financed it on that rich. I think I pay 640 a month um for this truck so i think all things considered it's a great option and all the features that come with it i don't think you can beat it for the money uh tacomas are pretty nice they're pretty close but they're more expensive a little bit and i don't think you get technically everything good that a frontier will give you um now that said i also don't think the frontiers are going to hold their value as much as a tacoma does i know for a fact you can get a 10 year old Tacoma pay whatever for it and I bet you you could sell it for damn near what you paid for it 
Um, so there is that. There is a resale value to consider, but I plan on having this truck until it blows up, flips over, rolls over, totaled, whatever. Um, I don't plan on getting rid of it in the foreseeable future unless I hit the lottery or something. So anyway, that is it for this video. Let's get back to the house and we'll wrap it up. guys we're back at the house so wrapping up here if i could choose all over again if this was today and i was going out to buy a mid-sized truck would i pick the 2022 nissan frontier and the answer is no <laughs> not because of anything the frontier has done wrong i think it's a great truck all the reasons i've said before i still love the thing is i think the new 2023 um chevy colorados look super cool inside and outside they got the low range they got everything you want you can get a tradesman trim for probably a couple grand more than the nissan and i just think they look really cool and it gave me almost the exact same truck i have now so but i buy it again yeah i'd buy this one again if i had to choose today between that and a new colorado i'd probably go colorado just because they're cooler looking um, but that's all personal preference. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel um, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.